Hey, this is Eric, and in this video, we're going to take a look at uh, three of my favorite Chrome extensions for text to speech. That is, uh, Chrome extensions that will take text on a web page or in a Google document and read it aloud for you. The first one we're going to take a look at is Read and Write for Google Chrome. So what you'll want to do is head to the Chrome Web Store and uh, just do a search for Read and Write. Um, I'll also put links to each of these extensions um, in the blog post that goes along with this video to make it convenient for you to get to those. Um, but once you find Read and Write uh, for Google Chrome in the Chrome Web Store, you'll just um, install that, add that to Chrome. And when you do, it's going to put a little icon. Let me show you where it goes. If you're on a web page, it's going to put a little little, little puzzle piece, a little purple puzzle piece with an RW for read and write. It'll put it up there in the URL bar. Whereas if you're in a Google Doc, it'll actually put a little RW puzzle piece in a, a little pull down menu at the top of the doc. So let's talk about how this extension works. Well, once you've got it installed, if you're on a web page where you'd like to have the text read to you, simply go up to the URL bar, click on the little RW button, and what it's going to do is it's going to open up the read and write um, toolbar. Same thing if you're in a Google Doc, simply go to the top, click on the little RW button, and it will pull down a uh, read and write toolbar. Very similar toolbar, couple little differences between the two, but for the most part, pretty much the same toolbar. And as far as using it, well, pretty straightforward. Come in here, highlight what you'd want to have read aloud, and you'll notice there's a play button up in that toolbar. Just go ahead and give it a click. Alternatives for the Clearly Chrome extension. And as simple as that, it'll read whatever you highlighted. Same thing for the Google Doc. If I come in here and I highlight some text and go up and hit the little play button in that toolbar. His mother was Mary Ball and his father was Augustine. And you'll notice that it also highlights the words as it goes through. That's one of the things I really like about Read and Write for Google is that it not only reads the text aloud, but it will also highlight the words as it works through. Another thing unique about this is it works really well on web pages and inside of Google Documents. That's not usually the case with most of the extensions. They typically work well on the web page, but then in the Google Document, they either don't read it at all or they always start from the top and read all the way down. Whereas with Read and Write, you can highlight just what you want it to read. Now, in addition to that, you can change the voice if you'd like to. Simply go up to the little gear icon in the top right of that toolbar, give it a click, and it'll pop open a screen where you can choose between lots of different voices, different nationalities. You can also change the speed um, of the reading there as well. Now, it is true, Read and Write is one of the very few extensions that does have a paid version and a free version. The free version, though, does include the text-to-speech. So um, if you do have this installed and you don't have the paid version, a lot of these buttons will be grayed out, uh, both on web pages and inside of Google Docs, but the text-to-speech, nope, that is perfectly fine. That is part of the free version, so everybody can use that. Now, do keep in mind, if you are a teacher, you can get the premium version that's typically cost money. You can get that for free. And I'll include the link um, in the blog post for that as well. All right, so that is Read and Write for Google Chrome. The second one we're going to take a look at is called Speak It. Now, Speak It can be found in the Chrome Web Store. Same way, just type in Speak It, all one word, do a search for that, and then, of course, go up and click that you want to install that uh, in Chrome. And what Speak It does, just like Read and Write, is it reads text aloud, works very well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn off Read and Write here. There we go. <laughs> it works very well on a web page. So if I simply come in here uh, to a web page, you'll notice I now have a little speaker icon in the top right hand corner. That's where Speak It goes when it gets installed. So I'll just come down here and highlight uh, some text. And you can get it to uh, read that text in two different ways. You can either highlight the text and then go up to the little Speak It icon in the top uh, right hand corner where your extensions are at. Just click up there and that'll work like so. Alternatives for the Clearly Chrome extension. 
or you can simply come here and right click on the highlighted text and choose speak it. Alternatives for the Clearly Chrome extension. Now you can use speak it in uh, Google Docs as well, but like I said, it does not read just the text you want. If I try to use it here, it'll actually start at the top and read all the way to the bottom regardless of what I select. So not as useful in a Google Doc, but it certainly works well on a web page. And just like with um, Read and Write, you can uh, easily go in and change the options for this. Just give a right click on the Speak It icon and choose Options. That'll pop you over to the Options screen where again, you can choose from a large amount of different voices. Um, that's the voice engine there, and then below is the actual voice itself. So male, female, different nationalities. And again, change the volume level, the speaking rate, and so forth. So that is the Speak It extension. The last one we're going to take a look at is called Announceify. And Announceify will also um, read your uh, page, uh, your text on your web page aloud, but it does a little bit extra with it. In addition to reading the text aloud, it will blur out the rest of the web page that it's not reading at that moment, so you can focus on just what it's reading, which is pretty neat. Uh, so just search for Announceify in the Chrome Web Store, and then you can install that and add that uh, to Google Chrome. So let's pop on over to our website one last time, and this time we're going to go ahead and click on the Announceify icon up here in the top right-hand corner, and you'll see what I mean. Give that a click. You are now listening to Control-Alt-Achieve Alternatives for the Clearly Chrome extension. Bad news, Clearly is going away. For years, one of my favorite Chrome extensions has been now you'll notice as it's reading, it blurs everything out except the paragraph it's currently reading. Um, so that is neat. It allows you to kind of focus on that and uh, gets rid of everything else on the page. Um, but again, really doesn't give you that control to say, I just want to read this one paragraph aloud. It does start at the top and it works its way down. Now you can come over here to the left and use the forward and backward buttons to jump ahead. Unfortunately, it is being discontinued. Evernote announced on their blog and so you can jump ahead with that, but it's not quite as easy as just highlighting the part that you'd like to have read aloud. Now, one other thing to mention with most of these text-to-speech tools is they can also read in world languages besides just standard English. So, for example, if I were to go back over to our George Washington report, and let's say I convert this into French. Um, very easy to do. We'll just go to Tools. We'll go to Translate Document, and we'll say, let's go ahead and convert that over to French. And we'll translate that. And now I get a new copy of the Google document in French. And with that, I'm going to want to go ahead and pull down my Read and Write toolbar, go up to my Settings, and let's switch from um, our US uh, female voice. We'll go down to a French voice this time, say OK. And now if I come in here and highlight some text and go up to the play button, we should hear this, um, the French text, spoken in a proper French accent. Sa mère était Marie Ball et son père était Augustine Washington. Il possédait une plantation avec des esclaves en Virginie. All right, excellent. So those three um, extensions are ones that I definitely recommend you take a look at. Read and write for Google Chrome, Speak It, and Announceify. If you'd like to get some more information on these, I would definitely encourage you to head over to the Control-Alt-Achieve website. I'm going to have a blog post that goes along specifically with this. You can find that at controlaltachieve.com slash text to speech. That'll jump you right into that blog post where I'm going to have links to each of those extensions as well as how you can get read and write for free as a teacher. And in addition to that, we'll have some information in there about some creative ideas on how to use text to speech with your students. Lots of different ways that they can uh, take advantage of that um, in the classroom. While you're there, definitely check out the rest of the blog post. Uh, see all the resources I've collected there. Uh, be sure to check out my uh, my webinars do a couple of those each month, and there's even a newsletter you can sign up for to uh, stay in the loop on the most recent things. Thanks so much, and uh, take care.